Hi friends, please subscribe to Amravati Media and press the bell icon for more latest updates. Andhra Pradesh ke Mukhya Mantri ki. Esteemed Prime Minister, Honorable Ministers of Government of India, Honorable Chief Ministers, and respected senior officers of Government of India and State Governments. As per your guidance, sir, we have been enforcing lockdown across the state with human touch and conducting regular surveillance of every member of 1.4 crore households to trace infected persons, their contacts, testing them and treating the positive cases, sir. Sir, in Andhra Pradesh, we have, uh, we have 2,61,216 volunteers at work, sir. 40,000 ASHA workers at work, 22,254 ANMs at works. All of them have been closely monitoring every individual under the supervision of more than 3,000 medical officers to detect and report the earliest symptoms of COVID-19, sir. So containment cluster strategies are put in place with 141 containment clusters declared as hotspots in which effective lockdown and active house-to-house -house surveillance coupled with extensive testing is being done, sir. So as per your gui guidance, we have ramped up infrastructure in hospitals. We've established uh, advanced critical care hospitals, four of them, sir, currently. We've also established in all the 13 districts, 13 district hospitals. And we've also made arrangements to ramp up these two by another 78 additional district level hospitals as well, sir. As per your guidance, we've also made sure that COVID care centers in every district, sir, 26,000 beds have been also created for effective quarantine, sir. Sir, I thank you for providing over this timely support and guidance on this front, sir. So having said all this, sir, I would like to emphasize the impact of this lockdown on our state, sir, particularly on common man, sir. Sir, agriculture is the mainstay of our economy, sir, contributing more than 35% of GSDP and employing more than 62% of the workforce, sir, in our state. Sir, interstate movement of agriculture commodities has come to an abysmal low, sir, with less than 25% of the trucks on the road, sir, due to fear of stoppage in between, sir. Sir, there is no, there is very little storage space available for agricultural commodities within the state in our go down, sir. So we are required to buy paddy, chilies, maize, going forward tobacco along with banana, papaya, and vegetables. As there are no other marketing avenues, sir. Sir, and how much can we absorb locally, sir? Sir, lakhs of farm families would be pushed into serious destitution if the present situation continues, sir. Sir, with lack, with lack of storage space and export, exports curtailed, the aqua sector is also bleeding, sir. Sir, coming to the industrial sector, sir, in the state of Andhra Pradesh, sir, of the 1,3986 industrial units, only 7,250 are functioning at present, sir. Supply chain disruption, road and rail network disruption has added to the crisis. While industries are being burdened with the weight of fixed costs, not coming down, how do, we expect, how do we expect them to pay for wages and salaries while not functioning, sir? Sir, other than all these mentioned, sir, the state's revenue sources have totally dried up, and while the expenditure on relief and welfare has drastically shot up, sir. Sir, my principal concern has been and continues to be the impact of, li impact of lockdown on the livelihoods of migrant and daily wage workers and agriculture, horticulture and aquaculture farmers 
and the welfare and well-being of every resident of Andhra Pradesh, sir. Sir, I support your stand that we must take firm and bold steps to contain COVID-19. But at the same time, sir, we have to ensure that the wheel of the economy keeps moving, sir. If not in full speed, at least to the level of sustenance of the people, sir. Sir, <coughs> in this background, sir, in 1918 also, so there was a virus by name influenza, which affected Indians as well, sir. That lasted for more than two years, sir. So we would have to take this into perspective, and this is a long-drawn battle that we would have to fight, sir. That perspective should always be remembered, sir. Sir, here, sir, while we are doing some analysis, sir, while we were doing some analysis with the data, what we have gathered, uh, certain interesting facts were noticed, sir. Sir, in our state, we have totally around about 676 mandals, sir. Out of these mandals, sir, the affected area, affected mandals are red zones 37, sir, orange zone 44, sir. So totally out of 670, 676 mandals, only 81 mandals are affected in the bracket of red zone and orange zone. The balance of 595 mandals are in green zones, which have no, which have practically have no effects, sir, which have not been affected, sir. So we classified them as into 141 clusters, sir. Sir, in my opinion, sir, lockdown should be limited to these red zones, sir. While uh, restriction can be continued, sir, at places of public gathering like malls, cinema halls, places of worship, mass transport and schools, while continuing with the physical distancing measures in all other places, sir. So thus far, we've been able to contain uh, the disease, sir, thanks to God. I hope, wish, and pray this pandemic will soon be vanquished and the human race will triumph over this unseen enemy of unprecedented virulence, sir. Sir, while, had, while I had given my opinion and a brief report on the happenings from our state, I do understand and appreciate the fact that this war could only be won if we function as one unit with one single strategy, sir. And here I trust your leadership in totality, sir. And whatever strategy you suggest, we would go with it to make your strategy a success, sir. Thank you, sir.